What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I am back with another video before I start. If you guys would leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, your support is greatly appreciated as we are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you're not subbed, be sure to hit that sub button and turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So today we're going to be breaking down how Rajon Rondo fits with the Los Angeles Lakers. So there have been reports that Rondo and the Lakers met recently and have mutual interests. However, by this time, no deal has been made, but it is still very possible that Rondo does in fact sign with the Lakers. So let's say he does in fact sign with them, and let's just take a look at how he would fit in LA. So with the Lakers, Rondo would be a backup. He would be playing behind Lonzo Ball, who is the second overall pick of the 2017 NBA draft, and he would get about 20 to 25 minutes per game. He would provide great playmaking who can play with the starters and the backups as well. I could definitely see some huge alley-oops to Larry Nance Jr., kick-out passes to Ingram or Clarkson for open threes and open shots in general, and also passes to Brook Lopez for open threes and easy push shots near the rim. I also believe Rondo could play with Lonzo Ball in some cases. Lonzo is about 6'6", I want to say, 6'5", 6'6", so Lonzo could in fact slide to the shooting guard position at times, and he can definitely spread the floor with his three-point shooting, so I can definitely see Rondo playing point guard with Lonzo playing shooting guard and I can see Rondo finding Lonzo for easy threes in transition or in the half court set whichever but I definitely think it is very possible that those two can play together at some times in the game. But the main reason why I think the Lakers would sign Rondo is to be a mentor to Lonzo Ball. He can teach him the tricks on offense and further improve Lonzo's passing and decision making on offense as Rondo is one of the best passers in my opinion in league history. Lonzo is already a tremendous passer. He averaged 7.6 assists in college, which was the highest in the entire NCAA, I'm pretty sure. And with Rondo's help, the sky's the limit for Lonzo's passing ability. Also in general, Rondo would be a great mentor for the other guys as well. You know, the Lakers have young guys like Ingram, Julius Randle, Clarkson. Those guys can all learn from Rondo who is a, I want to say 10-year vet, I'm not sure, but I know he's been in the league for a long time, and he can definitely teach those guys how to win, as Rondo has won a championship with the Celtics in 2008, I want to say, and he's also been to the playoffs multiple times throughout his career, while those guys on the Lakers have never even made the playoffs. So I definitely think with Rondo's playoff experience, and just in general, his knowledge of the league and the game, he can definitely help further develop the young guys and if everything goes right with the Lakers I definitely think they can get out of the Western Conference cellar and I definitely think they can probably hit somewhere around 35 wins as their peak but I don't think they will make the playoffs with Rondo as I don't think he's that much of a needle mover but I definitely think with Rondo he can definitely improve and help the Lakers young guys and their team in general. So thanks guys for watching if you guys did enjoy be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I will be putting out some great NBA content throughout the rest of the NBA offseason, the regular season, and so forth. And be sure to check out my other videos on my channel. I've done a ton of breakdowns and uh, other stuff as well, so be sure to check those out. And if you want me to do a breakdown of Rondo with the Clippers, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Or if you want me to do any other breakdown, um, definitely leave a comment and I'll most likely get to it. So yep, that's a wrap. Be sure to leave your comments down below in the comment section and I will definitely try to get it back to you as I love interacting with all you guys and just love talking basketball uh, with everyone basically. So once again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon for my next video. So once again, thanks and have a great one. Peace.